today's topic is snakes snakes are elongated limbless reptiles means that they can live on land as well as on water all snakes are strictly carnivores preying on small animals including lizard frogs other snakes small mammals birds eggs fish snails worms and insects snakes are ectothermic which means they change their body temperature according to their environment snakes cannot bite or tear their food into pieces so must swallow their prey whole a process called molting occurs in snakes in which the snakes remove their old skin molting serves a number of purposes it allows old worn skin to be replaced and it can remove parasites such as mites and ticks that live in the skin <coughs> many species of snakes have skull with several more joints than their lizard ancestors enabling them to swallow prey much larger than their heads most of snakes have only one functional lung living snakes are found on every continent except antarctica sea snakes are widespread throughout the indian and pacific oceans snakes range in size from tiny 10.4 cm long barbados thread snake to the reticulated python of 22.8 feet in length most species of snake are non venomous and those that have venom use it primarily to kill and subdue prey rather than for self defense some poses venom that is potent enough to cause painful injury or death to humans vipers and closely related species use venom to immobilize injure or kill their prey the venom is modified saliva delivered through fangs non venomous snakes either swallow prey alive or kill by constriction in the western world some snakes are kept as pets especially docaya species such as the ball python and cone snake to meet the demand a captive breeding industry has developed several compounds from snake venoms are being researched as potential treatments or preventatives for pain cancer arthritis stroke heart disease hemophilia and hypertension and to control bleeding for example during surgery